praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen, amen, amen. You are welcome in the name of Jesus. This is Moment of Victory, and I'd like you to close our eyes and let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, Almighty God, we thank you because you are the author of life. We bless your majesty, Lord, because you are the Almighty God. We thank you, Father, because of your life in us. We thank you, Lord Jesus, because of your hand of mercy upon our lives. We bless your majesty, O Lord, because you are kind to us, O Lord, you are good to us. We thank you, Jehovah God, for all your efforts over our lives, O Lord, for us to see this day. We bless your majesty, O God. Baba, accept our thanks in the name of Jesus Christ. Everlasting and ever living Redeemer, we pray, O Lord, that you open our understanding in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, make us better Christians in Jesus' name. Father, we pray, O Lord, that you help us, O Lord, to do what is necessary in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I pray, O Lord, that you empower us, O Lord, to be that, 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 that individual, that person that you have created us to be in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray, O Lord, that no evil will befall anyone on this platform in the name of Jesus Christ. I cover you with the glory of God. I cover you with the power of the Almighty. I cover you with the kindness of God. I cover you with his faithfulness in the name of Jesus Christ. His faithfulness will keep you throughout your life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I decree that your life and your eyes will never see corruption. In the name of Jesus Christ, it is well to your body, your soul, and your spirit in the name of Jesus. Thank you, wonderful Redeemer. To you alone be the glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. When you look at 1 John chapter 3, 1 John chapter 3, let's look at 1 John chapter 3, verse 8. Thank you, Jesus. 1 John chapter 3, verse 8. He says, He that committed sins of the devil, for the devil sinned from the beginning, for this purpose, the Son of God was manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil for this purpose. So the purpose of Christ is to destroy the work of the devil. You need to resist the devil. Do not give him place in your life. When these are done, the Holy Spirit will now make everything work for good for you. Learn, learn to engage the ministry of the Holy Spirit now and all things shall be good around you in the name of Jesus Christ. You must know that Holy Spirit is our helper and is ready to work everything out for good for you in the name of Jesus Christ. We are going to invite him into your life afresh. You are going to engage his ministry. That's from today. Holy Spirit of God, come into my life afresh. Take total control of my life. Begin to work all things for me. Work them out for good. Help me, O oh Lord. Help me in my prayer. Help me in my Christian life. Begin to talk to the Lord now. Talk to the Lord. Say, blessed Holy Spirit, help my weakness. Help my infirmity. In the name of Jesus, help my weaknesses, O oh Lord. Help my family. Work everything out for me. I can't do it alone, O oh Lord. I can't help myself. Help me, O oh Lord. I need divine help. Has the Lord to help you? Blessed Holy Spirit, I invite you afresh into my life this hour. Come into my life and help me. Help me right now in the name of Jesus. Help me right now in the name of Jesus. Help me now. Say, Blessed Holy Spirit, help my weaknesses. Help my family. In the name of Jesus Christ, help me, O oh Lord. I need your intercessory prayer in my life. Holy Spirit of God, come into my life and help me now. In Jesus' name we pray. Say this one loud and clear. Say, O oh Lord, turn all the negative events in my life to positive today. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let all the negative issues in my life become positive by the power of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. All the negative things in my life, oh Lord, become positive now. Become positive now. Become positive now. Work everything out, oh Lord, for good in the name of Jesus Christ. Work it out for good, oh Lord. Work it out for good, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. Help me today, oh Lord. Help me today, oh Lord. I need 
need your help, my father. Help me today, O oh Lord. Help me today, O oh Lord. Help me today, O oh Lord. Uphold my life, O oh Lord. Uphold my destiny, O oh Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, O oh Lord, uphold me in a time like this. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, this is a trying period. Uphold me, O oh Lord, in a trying period like this. In the name of Jesus Christ. Do not allow me to fall in the mighty name of Jesus. O oh Lord, my Father, uphold me, O oh Lord. In a trying period like this, do not allow, O oh Lord, my feet, O oh Lord, to be moved in the name of Jesus. So shall it be in Jesus' name. We pray. Say, O oh Lord, my Father, help me in a time like this. Lord, help me. Lord, I need your help. Blessed Holy Spirit, help me, O Lord. Help me, O Lord. Or put me and help me. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. There's a prayer you need to pray very well. Pray it loudly and shout about uh, shout it loud and clear. Say powers calling my name from the grave. Say power calling my name from the grave. I refuse to answer you. Shut up and die in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Power calling my name from the grave. I refuse to answer you. Shut up and die in the name of Jesus. Shut up and die in the name of Jesus. Shut up and die in the name of Jesus. Shut up and die in Jesus. They will pray. Say every sign of death. Blowing across the wall shall not hit me in the name of Jesus Christ. Every siren of death that is blown across the wall, it shall not hit me. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. So shall it be. Say, glory to the living God. Overshadow my life. Overshadow my life. Overshadow my family. In the name of Jesus. Glory of the living God. Overshadow my life. Overshadow my family. In the name of Jesus. Glory of the living God. Overshadow my life and my family. In Jesus' name we pray. Say thou glory of my life. Say thou glory of my life. Arise and shine. In the name of Jesus. Thou glory of my life. Arise and shine. Arise and shine. Arise and shine, arise and shine, arise and shine, arise and shine. Glory of my life, arise and shine. In the name of Jesus, the glory of my life, arise and shine, arise and shine, arise and shine, arise and shine. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, O Lord, my Father. Say, O Lord, my Father. I come before you now. Lay your hand of Miracle, signs, and wonders upon me now in the name of Jesus Christ. Let us begin to pray that prayer, O oh Lord. I come unto you, O oh Lord. Lay your hand of miracle, your hand of signs and wonder upon my life in the name of Jesus. O oh Lord, lay your hand of miracle, signs, and wonder upon my life in the name of Jesus. Lay your hand of miracle, signs, and wonder upon me in the name of Jesus. Lay your hand of miracle, signs, and wonder upon me in Jesus' name we pray. I want you to pray this one also. Say, O oh Lord, give me a new testimony in the name of Jesus Christ. O oh Lord, tonight, give me a new testimony in the name of Jesus. Lord, give me a new testimony in the name of Jesus. Give me a new testimony, O oh Lord. Give me a new testimony, O oh Lord. Give me a new testimony, O oh Lord. Lord, I need new testimony. Yes, I need testimony, O God, in the name of Jesus. Give me a new testimony in Jesus' name we pray. Pray this one also. Say, O oh Lord. Rest of all, say, Oh Lord, my Father, Oh Lord, my Father, change my story for good in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, my Father, change my story for good. Oh Lord, change my story, Oh Lord. Baba, change my story, Oh Lord, tonight. Lord, change my story, 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 oh God, change my story, oh Lord, 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 change my story, oh Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, oh Lord, give me full scale laughter. In the name of Jesus, Father, give me full scale laughter. Lord, I need full scale laughter. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, give me full scale laughter. In the name of Jesus Christ, I will not be sorrowful. In the name of Jesus Christ, Baba, give me my laughter now. Give me my laughter now. Give me full scale laughter. In the name of Jesus Christ, oh Lord, give me full scale laughter. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, wonderful Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Say powers. Say powers. They are vowed to cut me down. 
Say it again. Say powers. They are vowed to cut me down. You are a liar. Die in the name of Jesus Christ. Any power they are vowed to cut me down suddenly. You are a liar. I command you to die in the name of Jesus. Die in the name of Jesus. Die in the name of Jesus. I refuse to be cut down in the name of Jesus. Power they are vowed to cut me down. You are a liar. I command you to die in the name of Jesus Christ. I shall not be cut down. 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 I will not be cut down. Down by any wicked power in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, sustain me, Lord. I will not be cut down in the name of Jesus Christ. Power that vowed to cut me down. You are a liar. Die in the name of Jesus. Thank you, wonderful Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, My Father, my Father, my Father. Say, My Father, my Father, my Father. Arise by your mercy and stop my private tears. In the name of Jesus Christ, uh, my Father, my Father, my Father, arise by your mercy, o Lord. Stop my private tears. In the name of Jesus Christ, arise by your mercy. Stop my private tears. In the name of Jesus Christ, arise by your mercy. Stop my private tears. Stop my private tears. Stop my private tears. In the name of Jesus Christ, my Father, my Father, arise by your mercy, o Lord. Stop my private tears. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, my Father, my Father, my Father, arise in your mercy, o Lord, and stop my private tears. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, amen. See anything planted into my body to torment and oppress my destiny. Hmm. Somebody need to pray this prayer very well today. Say anything planted into my body to torment and oppress my destiny. Die in the name of Jesus Christ. Pray that prayer very well. Anything planted into my body to torment me, to torment my destiny, to oppress my destiny, I command you to die in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Die in the name of Jesus. Anything planted into my body to torment my destiny or to oppress my destiny, die in the name of Jesus. 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 Anything planted into my body to torment my destiny or to oppress my destiny, I command you to die. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ, anything at all planted into my body to torment my destiny, to oppress my destiny, die in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, thou evil pattern of failure of my father's house or my mother's house, stop following me in the name of Jesus Christ. That evil pattern of failure of my father's house or my mother's house, stop following me in the name of Jesus Christ. Stop following me. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Say, blood of Jesus. Say it again. Say, blood of Jesus. Enter into my system and purge me thoroughly in the name of Jesus Christ. Blood of Jesus, enter into my system. Purge me thoroughly. Purge me thoroughly. Purge me thoroughly in the name of Jesus Christ. Blood of Jesus, enter into my system. Purge me now. Purge me now. Purge me thoroughly. Purge me thoroughly. Purge me now. Purge me now. Purge me now. In Jesus' name we pray. See any power. Preparing fire of affliction. For me this year, see any power preparing fire of affliction for me this year shall be consumed by it in the name of Jesus Christ. Power preparing fire of affliction for me and my family this year shall be consumed by it in the name of Jesus Christ. Any power preparing fire of affliction for me and my family this year shall be consumed by it, shall be consumed by it, shall be consumed by it, shall be consumed by it in the name of Jesus, it shall be consumed by it. In Jesus' name we pray. Wonderful Father, King of Glory, we thank you again. We give you praise. Accept our thanks in the name of Jesus Christ. Empower us, O Lord, and move our destiny forward. Thank you, Wonderful Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, amen. Tonight, I want you to turn our Bible to Jeremiah chapter 17. I want to read a few verses there. Jeremiah 17, from verse 5 to 8. I'm speaking briefly on this topic, the blessing of focusing on God. The blessing of focusing on God. Jeremiah 17, 
Look at it from verse 5. Jeremiah 17, verse 5. It reads, Say, Thus said the Lord, the Lord, Thus said the Lord, Cause be the man hmm, that trust in man, and make a flesh his ham, and whose heart departed from the Lord. Very simple and direct. So, whosoever that puts his trust in man is operating under a curse. Look at verse 6. For he shall be like the earth in the desert, and he shall not see when good comet, but shall inhabit the patch places in the wilderness, in the salt land, and not inhabited. Very simple. That's part A. Look at verse 7. Blessed is the man that trusted in the Lord, and whose hope the Lord is. For he shall be as a tree planted by the waters, and that spread out a root by the rivers, and shall not see when it cometh, but a leaf shall be green, and shall not be careful in the year of drought, neither shall cease from yielding fruit. Blessing of focusing on God. We have been talking about focusing on Jesus, looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher. The author and the finisher of our faith. Now, the Spirit of the Lord is now putting serious emphasis on how to direct our minds on the reality of life. This place we read is very, very deep. So focusing or trusting the Lord wholeheartedly has his own blessing attached to it. When you put your total trust on something else apart from God, it has its own consequences. And the first consequence of such is curse. The fellow will be operating under a curse. When you put your trust on God, you are operating in the blessing of God. There is blessing attached to it. So the issue of trusting in the Lord to Christian is not optional. It is not if I like. No, it is compulsory. Otherwise, you will be praying. You are praying under a curse of the Almighty. So it is compulsory to trust in or actively, otherwise the person is operating under the cause of the Almighty unknowingly. And look at it from this angle. If somebody is under the cause of the Almighty and is using the name of Jesus to pray, he's just wasting time. So it means that before you pray to God, you must believe Him and your belief must graduate to the point of trusting Him or actively. Where you put your trust will determine whether you operate in the blessings of God or you are operating under curse. So it is so because you cannot serve two masters according to the scripture. It is so sad to discover that a lot of so-called Christians, they put trust in men. They put their trust in man-made things rather than God. Some put their trust in technology alone. Technology is not bad, but that should not be your God. Some put their trust, the whole trust, in science. Science is good, but it should not be your God. Anything you trust more than God, he has become your God. Some trust in their connections. Some trust so much in their skill more than God. Some put their trust in themselves more than God. So if you want lasting blessing from the Lord, learn to put your total trust in God. He has never failing power. Trust Him completely. Trust Him for everything. And let your mind be filled with His wonder. Be thinking about Him. Let your mind focus on God and his acts. See God in everything. 
in every day of your life, immediately you put your total trust in God, you find out that you'll be moving from glory to glory. You look unto him, there are any other thing. Before you consult any man, make sure you consult God first. He will refresh your mind. He will refresh your, 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 your spirit. He will give you answer to that burning question of your life when you put your total trust in God. I want to encourage you today that please don't trust any other thing. Any other thing can fail. It's only God can never fail you. Put your trust in God. And when you look at the blessings of people that put their trust in God, it's so awesome. Look at verse 7. It says, Blessed is the man that trusted in the Lord. That is, if you trust the Lord, already you are a blessed man or a blessed woman. And if the Bible describes describe you as blessed, if God calls you a blessed person, nobody can curse you. Nobody can put a curse upon people that God has blessed. And if somebody is operating under the curse of the Almighty, all you need to do is to repent and come under the blessing of God. Say, blessed is the man that trusts in the Lord, and whose heart the Lord is. Whose hope, brother, whose hope the Lord is. For he shall be as a tree planted by the waters. He can't see dryness at all. And he will spread out a root by the river. And shall not see when it comes. His life will be pleasant. His life will be refreshing. His life will be a source of testimony to others. People will see the reason of serving God. People will see God in his dealings. When we put your trust in God. Look at it again. And shall not be careful in the year of drought. Neither shall cease from yielding fruit. Even in the old age, he will be yielding fruit. He will be fruitful. When you put your trust in God, you will be fruitful. You can't be fruitless. You have fruit. You have proof. People will see testimony in your life. They will use as a point of contact. People will refer to you, become a refer person when you put your trust in God. So it is not optional. So it is compulsory as believer to put your total trust in God. It's only God that cannot fail. System can fail. Institution can fail. Man can fail. Anything can fail. You can even fail yourself at times. But it's only God that can never fail. I want to encourage you again today. Put your total trust in God and you will never see failure in the name of Jesus Christ. I want to close your eyes right now and begin to pray this prayer. I say, oh Lord, begin deep and lasting work in my spiritual life. In the name of Jesus Christ, oh Lord, begin deep and lasting work in my spiritual life. Oh Lord, begin deep and lasting work in my spiritual life. Oh Lord, begin deep and lasting work in my spiritual life. Oh God, begin deep and lasting work in my spiritual life. Oh Lord, begin deep and lasting work in my spiritual life. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, oh Lord, restructure my life to fulfill your purpose in my life. In the name of Jesus Christ, oh Lord, restructure my life to fulfill your purpose in my life. In the name of Jesus, oh Lord, restructure my life to fulfill your purpose in my life in the name of your oh lord restructure restructure my life 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 in jesus name we pray say in this month the presence of God shall not depart from me in the name of Jesus Christ. The presence of God shall not depart from me in this month and forever. The presence of God shall not depart from him. The presence of God shall not depart from me. The presence of God shall not depart from him. The presence of God shall not depart from me. The presence of God shall not depart from my family. The presence of God shall not depart from the for my children. The presence of God shall not depart from my spouse. In the name of your pray that prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. Say the hand of the Lord shall direct the affairs of my life this month in the name of Jesus Christ. The hand of the Lord shall direct the affairs of my life. In the name of Jesus Christ, the hand of the Lord shall direct the affairs of my life this month in the name of Jesus Pray that prayer. You need it. You need it. You need God to direct you. You need God to guide you. The prince of God shall guide you. The hand of God will guide you. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, O God of new beginning, 
Start new things in my life now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh God of new beginning. Start new things in my life now. Start new things in my life now. Start new things in my life now. Oh God of new beginning. Start new things in my life. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. I want to pray this important prayer. Say, glory of the living God overshadow my life. Glory of the living God overshadow my life. Glory of the living God overshadow my life. Let the glory of God overshadow you anywhere you are. Let the glory of God come upon you in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name we pray. Say the presence of God shall not depart from my life in the name of Jesus Christ. The presence of the living God shall not depart from your life. You will not depart from your family. In the name of Jesus, pray that prayer. The presence of God shall not depart from my life. The presence of God shall not depart from my life. The presence of God shall not depart from my life. The presence of God shall not depart from my life in the name of Jesus Christ. The presence of God shall not depart from my life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, O oh Lord, or pull me to the end. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, or put me to the end. In the name of Jesus, oh Lord, or put me to the end. In the name of Jesus Christ, or put me to the end, O Lord, 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 or put me to the end, O Lord. In Jesus' name, we pray. Say, God, say, O Lord, my Father, give me sufficient grace to continue to hold on to You. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, give me sufficient grace, O Lord, to continue holding on to you in the name of Jesus Christ. Have the Lord for sufficient grace. Have the Lord for sufficient grace. The Lord will give you the grace that is sufficient in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, O Lord, connect my life to your resurrection power in the name of Jesus Christ. O Lord, my Father, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, connect my life to your resurrection power in the name of Jesus. Plug my life. To, your, to the socket of power. Right now, in the name of Jesus, begin to pray that prayer. Connect my life to the power of restoration. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, thou power of restoration, bring back all my losses. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let the power of restoration bring back all the things that have eluded your head, all the things you've lost in life. Let the power of restoration be restoration in the name of Jesus Christ. Say, thou eating and clever devourer of my head, the Lord rebuke you now. Die in the name of Jesus Christ. Thou eating and clever devourer of my head, the Lord rebuke you. Die now, die now, die now. Say that prayer right now. Thou eating and clever devourer of my head, the Lord rebuke you. Die in Jesus' name we pray. Say, thou power of restoration, arise and fight my battles. In the name of Jesus, thou power of restoration, arise, fight my battles, 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 fight, battle. fight for me and fight my battles. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. I pray for you. This power of restoration, you begin to walk in your family, walk in the life of your children, walk in the life of your husband or wife, walk in your, in your company, walk in whatever you lay your hand upon, it will protect you, it will preserve you in the name of Jesus Christ, it will save you, it will provide for you, it will move you forward, even to the next level of your career, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every arrow of spell, every arrow of destruction, sent to your mind in order to make you to have costly mistake i command you to backfire in the name of jesus christ i mean the arrow of uh, uh, arrow of spell the enemies sent to your life for you to fall into costly mistake i command you to backfire in the name of jesus christ any power planning to disgrace your destiny shall die in the name of Jesus. I mean any power planning to disgrace your destiny shall die in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray the blood of Jesus Christ shall protect you. The blood of Jesus Christ shall preserve you. The blood of Jesus Christ shall provide for you. The blood of Jesus Christ shall keep you alive to see good days in the name of Jesus Christ. I say again prophetically by the anointing of the Holy Spirit, the blood of Jesus shall protect you and your family. The blood of Jesus shall preserve you and your family. The blood of Jesus shall provide for you and your family. The blood of Jesus shall keep you alive and your family to see good days in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So shall it be in the name of the Father, of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Keep trusting God. Keep trusting God. Keep trusting God. You will see the blessing of the Lord will flow into your life 
automatically in the name of the Father, of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Don't forget, this is moment of victory. And every moment of resistance to temptation is a victory. Never, never give up. Thank you. God bless you. Bye-bye.